Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former dive instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video, it can be about anything to do with scuba diving, I do my best. And if you use this Ask Mark hashtag in your question, uh, it just highlights it behind the scenes so I can find it a little bit easier and it might even turn up as a video or even in our magazine, which you can find by visiting this website up here. Um, today I'm answering a question from Mixi about refilling nitrox. So Mixi says, hi Mark, many thanks for your wonderful insights. You are welcome. I am a newbie diver and I obviously have a newbie question. You never know. Uh, I have two cylinders, one for 21% and the other one, which is O2 cleaned uh, with enriched air nitrox 32%. What do I need to do to change the mix from 32 to 36? Does the cylinder need to be completely emptied and filled up from scratch? Uh, no, don't you dare waste that oxygen. Oxygen is expensive. Um, you don't need to drain. If you have like 60 bar of nitrox left in your cylinder and you want to get it to any other like gas mixture, what you need is a nitrox calculator. Uh, or a trimix calculator. And what you basically do is you, you type in all of the information. It will need your cylinder volume, your cylinder pressure, and your current gas mix. Um, so you need to know all of those. And you type them all in, and then you say what you want on the other end. So if you're going from, uh, what was it, 32 to 36%, uh, you type in, yeah, it's 32%, obviously analyze it first, so you know that it's accurate, um, and then hit calculate, and it will say, right, fill up to this pressure, and we, we're with pure oxygen, or, or as pure oxygen as you can get, and then top it up to your working pressure with air, and that will give you that gas mix. It's um, we used to run off tables, which were complicated. You had to yeah, work it all out with uh, with tables. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, in this modern age, there's a calculator app for that. I've got one on my phone. Uh, if you Google it, I'm sure one will just pop up on a website. There are plenty. And yeah, you just type in the information, hit enter, and it tells you, yeah, top it up to this pressure with oxygen and then top it up with, uh, with air, and that will get you to your gas mix. One thing that I will say is don't rush it because if you, when you pressurize cylinders, you go from a low pressure to a high pressure, the cylinder's gonna get hot and then it's gonna cool down. So what will happen is you fill it up to a certain pressure, you stop, and then as it cools down, the pressure's gonna drop a bit and you can lose like 10, 20 bar quite easily by just getting that, um, that cooling effect and then if you fill it up when it's hot and then you top it up with ox, uh, uh, with um, air, how do I lose the word for air? Uh, you top it up with air, then you're not gonna get the mix that you want because it's, it's gonna cool down and uh, you're not gonna have enough oxygen. And once you're at that like full stage, then trying to, because filling is always like a balancing act, you need a greater pressure in the uh, in the like oxygen cylinder to fill your cylinder um once you get up that's why you put the oxygen in first um you you're always like taking the cream of the uh, the pressure up at the top um whereas if you have a completely full cylinder and your oxygen cylinder doesn't have a greater pressure then unless you've got a non-return valve which you really should do um it's it's just going to equalize and you're going to dilute your oxygen which you don't want to do so um yeah, a, a, a nitrox calculator, basically. And um, the, the, I think I've got a free one. I'm sure you can get paid ones as well. Uh, but yeah, you, you just type in all the information and it spits out an answer. Yeah, modern blending is a lot easier than it, uh, it used to be. Uh, obviously do be careful uh, if you're looking at like doing this yourself. Uh, I've seen uh, like the aftermath of someone who was trying to um, uh, fill with pure oxygen and don't know what happens, or at least can't remember what happens. The um, but basically something went bang, and uh, and with pure oxygen around, you don't want that. Um, you got to do it in like a well ventilated area, and uh, and everything. Uh, use the right greases and all that kind of stuff. It's it's always better to do it or get it done by a uh, proper like blending station. 
but yeah um there's there's of course an app for it but no you, you don't need to drain your cylinder uh, that's just a waste for everyone involved um, because yeah there's valuable oxygen in there and granted oxygen isn't the most expensive gas but it's not cheap neither so yeah you don't want to like waste any of your uh, your nitrox you uh, you want to keep as much of that as possible and um, yeah just use a uh, nitrox calculator they're, they're pretty easy to find nowadays any other questions pop it down in the comment section underneath this video use this art smart hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video otherwise remember to head over to our website scubadivingmag.com and check out diving into the darkness a new documentary about cave diving and jill Hynath as well we're having a special screening over on this website here where you can buy tickets that's going to be on the 9th to the uh, 15th of june but you can sign up now if you're interested uh, just click on this link and it'll take you over to the website thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving it's the closest thing i can think of to going to another planet Jill Hynath is diving at the cutting edge of cave exploration. But this was more than just a sport.